alternating reach. You're gonna start by putting your hips about hip width apart, or your knees hip width apart. You can also add a ball between your knees and squeeze that as well. You're gonna get down on your elbows, tuck the hips. When you tuck, make sure your mid back is not what comes up. So that should stay pretty flat. Try to get the tuck from down here, from your hips and from your low back, not the mid back by you crunching. Once you've tucked, you might feel some hamstrings, you might feel some glutes. You're gonna push your chest up toward the ceiling. I would go ahead and check. Upper traps should not be super toned. They should be pretty um, off in this position. From there, you're gonna pick one arm up. You can put your other hand on the other shoulder and you're gonna hold this for three to five breaths. What you don't wanna start doing is moving your chest. So your sternum should stay still as you pick your arm up. Full breath out. The other thing you can do with your hand is place it on your belly because when you're exhaling, you should feel that collapse. And as you breathe in, what you're trying to do is you're gonna to try to keep this collapse, meaning you're not going to breathe through your belly and that will allow your chest and upper back to